Greetings everyone. Today, me and my group mates will be presenting about the usage of audiovisual aids in English language classrooms. Before we get into the explanation of it, between abstract, research questions, background and so on, let me show you and let me zoom into the details that you can see right here. Our poster has been divided into few components that may attract you to know even more about our title. So, please tune in more to actually be enlightened about the audiovisual aids in English classrooms regarding uh, the effectiveness and also the advantages, the advantages given in this research. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, now I will be explaining to you about the usage of audiovisuals in an abstract form. So, as you can see here, this is the abstract for our research today. The usage of audiovisual has been known throughout the world for years ago, especially now when students and educators had to practice the new normal. Due to the pandemic outbreak, it is advisable for us to stay at home and also engage into virtual learning. So within that, audiovisuals, audiovisuals tools and audiovisual aids came in handy because it will assist our study process and also our learning process to acquire certain skills. And in English, it is very important and crucial to acquire certain skills because it will help us to enhance more of our professionalism skills to be used in an internship program or to be used in the interviews. So according to Al Mamun, the usage of audiovisual aids in the classroom made the learning process even more entertaining and effective. And after this, I will be explaining to you about the research questions. Thank you. Hello everyone. Moving on to the research questions. These are the set of research questions that we've proposed in our research. So there are three research questions, which is number one is how effective is using audiovisual aids in teaching English language for university students? And the second one is how does the usage of audiovisual tools in English class improve students' learning skills rather than traditional method? And number three is what are the challenges faced by the students during virtual classrooms? So in order to enhance and also explain to the students even better, we have proposed a three sets of questions that will make that by the end of the video you will understand why virtual classrooms and virtual aids and virtual tools are very effective rather than using traditional methods. Thank you. Before I move on to our background of the research, I advise you guys to uh, to press or to tap the like button and to tap the subscribe button. Okay, so now moving on to our background for, uh, for the research day, today. This paper or also this research discuss the usage of audiovisuals for teaching English language in traditional and virtual classrooms. Why? Because certain students are ought to be to have the learning process even if, even more effective if they are assisted with some certain medias and also learning tools which is provided by the educators or provided by the university itself so the second one is enhancing the advantages of using the technology platforms so as you can see traditional platforms such as a traditional classroom has been on mundane. It's mundanely appeared and it's making the the learning process or the learning acquired to be more boring and consistent. So during this boringness students uh, are art to to incorporate more technology platforms so that they can learn even better. The third one is this paper or also this research also highlights the way of audiovisuals can be beneficial for teaching English in classrooms. Why? Because English classrooms, uh, English classrooms 
objectives are uh, for the students to acquire certain skills such as listening, pragmatic skills, and this will also be useful for the future use such as in an interview or in a presentation of the project. So this is very useful. Thank you so much. I will then passing my baton to Shafira Atika after this. Alright, now we are moving on to the next section which is the methodology. So for the methodology, we actually refer to 15 articles journals ranging from the year 2015 to 2020 and the sources are from educator websites such as Google Scholar, Academy.edu and also UATM Other than that, secondary studies also from articles and journal articles also are being used and collected and we are also cited it in order to answer the constructor research questions. Other than that, we also did a comparison from articles from the same themes and concepts from different authors and years in order to extract the main cause. Now, we are moving on to the literature review section. So, study actually finds out that teachers actually need to adapt to the new teaching methods in order to provide better and mutual understanding to the students. So what educators can do is that they have to fully understand the features of the audiovisual language first before teaching it to the students. In this way, students can have more fun and environment, uh, more fun environment in learning using the audiovisual language. Other than that, research also found that students are actually able to explore more of the experience in learning using technology while having teachers to assist them. While using the audiovisual language, it is especially helpful, especially in English language. As, um, and when it comes to pronunciation. In this way, teachers can assist the students in order to make the study environment more effective in classroom. Other than that, the usage of audiovisual in English language class also actually can help to gain their own individual knowledge in terms of software and multimedia simulation. This is, this is a research made by Matthew in the year 2014. According to a research, 90% students actually find uh, Studying using technology are actually more enthusiastic and enjoying for them. As for findings and discussion, researchers found that one of the most effective ways of using visual aids as teaching tools in learning language is by using videos. This has been said by Alma Mum Hill in 2014. This is because he said that the usage of audiovisual aids will assist the process of acquiring pronunciation skills. By this, students will master the skill of reading nonverbal materials. In terms of English language skills, audiovisual materials have been proven into shaping the educational system into an approachable proposition as it is training the pragmatic distinction improving academic writing skills and also adhering good listening skills. Therefore, they were able to understand better with the difficult concepts in the given course book said by Matthew and Ellie here in 2014. To conclude, audiovisual aids have been proven into assisting students with their learning process. Therefore, educators should prepare suitable materials before starting their class to ensure that the learning and teaching activities are being carried out smoothly without any technical problems. And also that educators should incorporate with computer teaching and learning programs in order to enhance the student skills in English language skills such as pragmatic, semantic and also access good listening skills.